The Fox 9 Morning News starts now. Well, it's a holiday tradition with a little bit of a twist. We're talking eggnog. Rachel Perrin here from Kowalski's is here with some recipes. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Uh, so most of us think of eggnog as a drink. Yeah, it's a drink. That's right. There are eggs in it. There are eggs in it. Now, there are some safety questions that some of us would think of, and you just told me during the break, you're like, it's perfectly it's safe. It's perfectly safe. I okay. mean, um, homemade eggnog, maybe where people aren't pe using pasteurized egg product in it, maybe there might be some concerns for certain populations, but the okay. stuff you buy in the grocery store, perfectly, perfectly fine. safe. Perfectly safe to drink. I think we should have you taste it to orient yourself to the flavor it's of it. It's been a this while. Morning. We were talking I about know. this. It's been a while since I've had eggnog. But I'll tell so. you what else is in it besides eggs. So it's got milk, cream, sugar, sometimes vanilla, oh, but often yeah, that's nutmeg. Good. Does it remind you of anything? For me, I think it tastes a little like melted ice cream. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking right? that or almost like a twinge of, of like liquid pumpkin pie. Yeah, well, it's got that pumpkin spice flavor. flavors the spice in there. Flavor. The nutmeg there really gives it that pumpkin pie. It makes it Melted ice cream, yes, but I like that. But the thing is, all those ingredients I mentioned are in ice cream, so that kind of makes sense. And so one of the things that you can do with it that's really cool okay. is pour cold eggnog straight from the carton into your ice cream freezer at home. Ooh, Turn okay. it on. 30 minutes later, you have soft serve eggnog ice cream. Put it in the freezer, and it Hardens That's up perfect. Really cool. Egg non flavored add, add ice cream. A, little t a topping to it, whatever. This is something you want. to pep it up a little bit. Yeah. But that's a really fun way to use it. And I love this organic valley particularly because it's got a little bit more fat and it's really creamy. It works beautifully for making ice cream. But we can do a lot of Not exactly with one it. of the most healthy things, but delicious. Oh, delicious. Yeah. yeah okay. It's the holidays. We're going to splurge a little bit Why here. Why not? We Why might as not? Well. well, let's make a fun recipe yes. for some of our Scandinavian friends Absolutely. here in the upper Midwest. And it's a very Christmas Eve or Christmas Day tradition for many mm -hmm. uh, of those of us here, um, which is a rice pudding. Oh, so yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to make a rice pudding here using eggnog with a little bit of cooked brown rice. Now, this is brown rice that comes in a bag in the freezer section. You just put it in the microwave and... and um, oh, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. A few minutes later, it's ready. But you can use any leftover rice or extra rice, white, okay. brown, whatever you want. And all we need to do with it is we're going to add a little bit of eggnog. So that's three cups of uh, brown rice, uh, one and a third cups of eggnog, Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. And that's brown sugar. And, and you can use white sugar, too, if you don't have um, uh, brown sugar at home. But I like the okay. brown here. Okay. And then a little bit of raisins, if you like. Yellow, purple, whatever color, other dried fruit. And then seasonings. A little bit more, maybe more nutmeg or a little bit maybe more cinnamon. Okay. And then all you really want to do is bring it up to um, a temperature where all the sugar melts. Okay. So and you're, it not, gets you're hot. not even boiling it. You can. Okay. And then you can cook it for a while and the eggnog or will continue to absorb into the rice the mm. longer it cooks. But after, actually, once it's hot and the sugar's dissolved, you can actually go ahead and enjoy it. So it's a great little way to have that New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve tradition that many of our. Yeah, you could do it Swedish for New Year's Eve, too. Let's yeah, you could do it for New Year's Eve, too. <laughs> but there's a lot of other things that you can do with eggnog as far as recipes go. Okay. So basically, any recipe that calls for half and half. Uh -huh. We have a pumpkin pie here that we use as half and half. Oh, okay. Sub out the half and half with eggnog, and it will work just as well. Oh, that's cool. Same thing with scones. Scone recipes that call for half and half. You can use it in French toast. You could use it in sweet risotto recipes, kind of similar to our rice pudding. Huh. And I've also done it over here in a bread pudding. So just took out the milk and used the eggnog instead. And it's a one-to-one -one swap out. Really, really simple. Wow, I had no idea. You're right. That's really easy. Yeah. Yeah, it works in any of those recipes. But you can also do one of everybody's favorite things, just well, make it into a cocktail. Of course. you got to add the alcohol. So we're, here we're using, I like, this is a good use of the light eggnog, I think, too. Um, mm -hmm. Because sometimes some adults think it's a little bit too sweet and creamy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a little ice in a shaker here with a little bit of rum and a little bit of eggnog. Okay. And we're just going to give it a shake. And the nice thing about shaking it with ice is it's going to thin it out just a little yeah. bit and it make, make it a little, little bit less, less sweet. little less sweet, little yeah. less creamy. Of course, the rum's not going to hurt either. You can use whiskey, <laughs> rum, um, brandy, whatever anything. you want, and then just shake it and pour it into a glass full of ice that I've rimmed with a little bit of coarse sugar and nutmeg. It's a great little holiday cocktail, Christmas Eve. It looks delicious. In front of the fire. Yeah, yeah. It's feeling more like Christmas now. Yeah, it sure. should. Yeah, definitely. And, and so here again, all we need to do is let the sugar dissolve, and it's getting close. It's getting there. And then cook it up to five minutes. You could cook it a little bit longer if you wanted to, and it'll just keep getting thicker and thicker. And then here's our finished product. Right. Am I try you, let's, let's, let's try give it a taste. Thing. Yeah, might as well. I'm not sure if you're a fan. Many people don't like rice pudding. You know, to be honest, I've had, I guess, southern style rice pudding, which I wasn't a big fan of. I, I don't have no idea what the difference Texture is. Texture thing for you, maybe? Maybe. I think oh, if you don't love rice pudding, a great way to um, kind of give it some more interest is to add the walnuts, mm -hmm. which we've done here, and of course the raisins add chew. So it gives it a little bit more texture yeah, than when you just eat it on its that. own. Yeah. 
That's good. It's yeah. not mushy. I like that it's no, not it's mushy. No, it's got a little bit of something for a little, your little mouth body to do. For a little, it. little crunch, a yeah. little chew. Yeah. I like that. Now, how much does, um, I don't even know, how much does the eggnog run typically? Um, are you asking me how much things cost again? Yes. This is your, this is your thing. This I like this. This is my this. thing. Okay, well, some of us are on <laughs> a budget. You're, no, you're actually wanting to go buy it this afternoon. I know, Shh. so I get it. I wasn't going to say that. Yeah, it depends on the brands. There's a, there's a range here. We've got a variety of local eggnogs. You know, Kemp's uh, has several different flavors, including their Golden Nog and their Holly Nog. Um, Autumn Wood Farms is another local brand, and that's a popular um, option. Okay. Uh, this one, um, probably closer to the $6 range. Okay. Um, and then, you know, maybe a, a quart here might run you about, you know, $3. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. So it's almost yeah. like a gallon of milk or Pretty not much. even. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Rachel, thank you for joining us from thank Kowalski's. You. Yeah. Uh, good eggnog recipes. And of course, you can find all these on mypox9.com.